Hello folks and welcome to Paddock Pass, your pre-race edition for this, the inaugural round of the 2022 Formula One World Championship. And I've got to say, it feels great to be back. As is tradition, there is something of an air of a first day back at school on arrival here. But it's more than that, because the new era of Formula One has arrived. And with it, the eagerly anticipated new car regulations, which have been designed to help promote better racing with clean sculpted lines, swooping rear and front wings, which should allow cars to follow each other more closely, new eye-catching 18-inch low-profile tyres, the return of ground effect, and a reduction of aerodynamic physical adornments, the new cars look strikingly different, all while improving safety and pushing the limit of technical ingenuity. So then, which teams have interpreted the rules most effectively, and which drivers will adapt to their new car the quickest? leading the charge against the rest of the pack. Only time will tell. As always, we can't wait for this season to begin. But for now, from us, that's your Hello and welcome to the first episode of my driving career mode on the new F1 game F1 22 and we doing driving career mode because I don't really like my team the much of a driving career mode in the background you'll be able to see um, what's going on in terms of even the driver and everything unfortunately I've had to go back to using 66 because Patterson returned but in terms of teams we're going to go with Alpine and have Fernando Alonso as our teammate because I feel like that's the best team I wanted. I had loads of things in my mind for about Alfa Romeo, but we'd had that rivalry with Gran Yu Joe and it'd be a bit unrealistic replacing Bottas. For about Aston Martin, but I'd have to praise Bell because a bit unrealistic replacing Lance Stroll. So we've gone for Alpine. So the calendar you will see now in the background, we're going to start where it should start in Australia. Then we go to Miami, Spain, Monaco, Baku, Canada. Then we go to Silverstone, Austria. Then it's summer break. Then it's Belgium, Zambor, Monza, Singapore, Japan, Mexico, Brazil. And we finish the season in Abu Dhabi a short but sweet calendar just because I preferred that on last year's F1 game the shorter seasons puts a bit more pressure on you as well because you can't afford to slip up but going to qualifying then and you can see in the background that we've actually done a good lap and this our P11 went faster for a period let's go to the race. No more testing, no more practice. This is the real deal. And it's make or break here at round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. Here we are then at the Albert Park circuit, 3.28 miles of bumpy city streets, but not a lot in the way of elevation changes. The circuit goes all the way around the lake, taking in 14 corners. Note the DRS zones into turns one, three and 11. They'll offer our drivers a number of good opportunities to overtake. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. A very happy Carlos Sainz will start second. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Hamilton, Perez, Charles Leclerc, and Bottas, Russell, Fernando Alonso, Sonoda, and Pierre Gasly, Brown, Joe, Kevin Magnussen, and Mick Schumacher, Norris, Albon, Sebastian Vettel, and Nicholas Latifi. Ricardo, Lance Stroll brings the grid to a close. Now it lights out just moments away. It's time to go down to the track. 
So we are here in 2022 at the start of another Formula One World Championship. It all begins here, the start of the next generation of Formula One. With the end of the second turbocharged era, a new dawn begins. New regulations have been brought in to promote better racing, with the two big standout changes being the wheel size increase and the aerodynamics on the car itself. But will this result in us having a repeat fight for the driver championship? Will Mercedes retain their constructors' title? We have lots to discuss then with Anthony Davidson, who's joined me in the commentary box for today's event. It's good to be back. Let's hope for some good racing today. We can't know at this point how competitive these teams are relative to each other, but hopefully nobody is able to run and hide. We want to see these drivers pushing to the limit all the way to the chequered flag. So here we go then, there's new cars, it's a new game, it's a new career mode, a new dawn in F1. And it's lights out and away we go for the first time in this career mode. It's a great start by the Ferrari. We've got a shocker pins really hard this year. As Charles Leclerc is on wide and off the track, he's in the gravel. And now we have tried to get places, we did do the manual formation laps. And now we're going to send it down the inside of Pierre Gasly. Up ahead is our teammate Fernando Alonso. If we go round the outside of Pierre Gasly, through that corner, job done. And now this is George, who had the shocker drop behind his. He's in replacing Valtteri Bottas, so Bottas will be glad to see that Mercedes in his mirrors, but it won't be long before he went up to look behind and look ahead as George goes round the outside of Valtteri Bottas and gets back up into that position as we then were just going to stick him with our teammate Alonso but we did start to fall back into Gasly and Gasly now on the outside and now round our outside small lock up and gets the job done we do try though to fight him back round the outside and we do keep the place and we go wide off the track through the dirt and Gasly gets that place anyway and now he can hunt after Fernando and this, this is Verstappen Verstappen from the lead of Grand Prix his engine's blowing the Honda Red Bull where it's called engine has gone bang as we now go wheel to wheel with Mick Schumacher he had us down the inside he locks up we get him back the match has happened from the lead is out of this race and Charles Leclerc from that bad start is very very quickly cutting his way back through the field in this race as he gets past Sebastian Vettel his former teammate as now here is Kevin Magnussen down our inside couldn't do it as then goes Charles Leclerc tried to get past the Mick Schumacher there as now Yuki Tsunoda is going to come out and give him Magnussen but he couldn't quite get the job done there through now that corner and Charles Leclerc is on the soft compound tyres but that house, house on the mediums down the inside goes um, Charles Leclerc but he couldn't quite get the job done and has to wait behind the house a little while longer he's probably wondering why this house is so far up the order but in fact those soft tyres have only done 8 laps as he pits now for the hard tyres and comes out in some very very clean air and he was very very quick so he may be on a roll here maybe have to beat us out as you can see Fernando all over the back of Bottas Gasly's gone up the road and we're defending Kevin Magnussen who's got us into turn one but he's gone a bit wide there a bit wide can we get back up his inside we have fallen back a little bit and you just an owner for about having a look at us but Magnuson is unfortunately gone up the road 
and we were staying around just over a second behind him so I thought on lap 12 why not pit and try the undercut going on to the hard tyres as we come into the pits for the course manual immersive pit stops that I timed horribly wrong and wasn't the great to pit stops then as we've been beaten out Charles Leclerc has beaten us out by a country mile this is what I mean Charles Leclerc was so so quick and he's in severe off the road one lap later though into the pit comes Kevin Matheson in his house he began onto the hard tyres as well to the end of the Grand Prix through there goes Shiki Sonoda and out to the track and can we beat him out? we are coming out of the final corner we have oversteer and we are going to head down to one turn one and Kevin Magnussen is going to be nowhere to see he has come out four seconds of the road from us and the undercut is massively backfired because it is so so hard to get the tyres up to temperature this year when you come out of the pits this is me Schumacher and you can see the pitting which has been gasoline before and now down into turn one they have both beaten us out as well but can't tie to me Schumacher and we can send the back on the outside of me Schumacher now side by side into turn three and we get the job done to repass Pete Schumacher and now uses an owner cold tyres as well to the outside we go and now hold it round the outside we are a little bit wide though but Yuki has to yield the position for now and we go on to lap 17 and we were just Magnuson had gone we don't need to worry about him anymore but Yuji Sonoda was all over the back of us and see he goes trying to go around the outside at turn one but side by side Mitch Schumacher is waiting with the popcorn if he can have a sniff to possibly get past down the inside we defend though Mr Sonoda through the creature cane now and here he comes you can see Nona again. It looks a bit far back, but no. We went wide. Around the outside, he tries to go. But he's locked up. He goes wide. And now, Mick Schumacher has gone through. And now, you can see Nona. He's not having that. As he tries to go around the outside, of turn three of Mick Schumacher. And he does re overtake the German driver there. As you can then make a mistake, goes wide, and now Mick Schumacher is going to come back at him. This is unbelievable racing between the two drivers. And now side by side, who's given up? You can see no one's given up through the quick chicane. But he gets the exit, and now to the outside, you can see just too far back and now on to lap 20 we've gone wide Mick Schumacher now has got a run on us and now he's going to go to the inside of us and he has passed is that our Alpine? but is it possible for us to really overtake him as we go now towards we're on the outside Round the outside of the house we go and you just know that I might have a little look at the house once again and now then out to the final corner he's going to try again it's Yuki Tsunoda on Mick Schumacher and Yuki tsunoda has got the straight line speed but hasn't got the turn in Mick Schumacher stays ahead 
and that's his brand new job. He's been following the Aston Martin and is now out of the race as his engine's gone as well. And he pulls off to the side. So then now, make sure Mac is on the back of us. And can we keep him behind her? I hope so. This is turning into a very, very interesting battle. As to the inside he goes again, side by side now, into turn one. We defend him to the outside, it's had a little wobble. And now, you can say they may have had, had a go. And now, through the new section, Mick Schumacher has had a run. I'm not backing out Mick, but is he? How are we going to go side by side? Through the clinch again, no we're not. He backs out of it. And now Mick Schumacher on the outside. And now around the outside he tries to go, but we force him wide. So now we were told that Yuki Sonoda had an issue and now he's being caught by Lando Norris as Mitch Schumacher again tries to go to our outside but it just sets us up though for the new turn right-hander but he can't get the job done but in the background Lando Norris down the inside of Yuki Sonoda couldn't get the job done though, you just holding him around the outside. But it's actually holding him back the second Red Bull powertrain engine to suffer an issue with Max Verstappen at the start of this Grand Prix. And Lando Norris gets the job done as Mick Schumacher now side by side with us. Down the inside into turn one, we fend him off. And he's had to back out completely out of it, but we've made a Big mistake, and now couldn't couldn't get the job done on us there. And now again, he's just following us. He just couldn't bring the DRS. We've had a shocker off with that corner, and now Mitch Schumacher is through. Or so he thought. We send it back down the inside, side by side on the exit, and we keep the place for now. And we're battling that hard that Lando Norris is slowly catching us. As you can see in the background, round down the inside we went wide. Goes me and Schumacher. And now we head down down the straight. Side by side. This time though he has the inside line. But we hold around the outside. But now because we've got a, a tighter line, so we can come back at this to the inside too far back to do anything but we've locked up we've gone wide round the outside it goes and now Lando Norris like I was mentioning earlier has now joined the party and now here comes the Bastion Vettel round the outside of Yuki Tsunoda just shows you his issue when he was really fighting us earlier on in the Grand Prix it's once again here comes Mick Schumacher into that one corner. It just copy and paste every lap. And yet again we stay ahead. And now as Mick Schumacher makes a mistake, Lando Norris is having a pop, possibly. Mick Schumacher goes to the outside. We force him wide. Lando Norris fought about to the outside, but couldn't do anything there. And now on the exit, here they come. Now we're going to get double team Mitch Schumacher on the outside. Lando on the inside. Mitch Schumacher, oh we fucked up. We are gone for the gravel. We jump back into the truck. We've nearly sliced off Lando Norris' from wing. And we've lost one, two, three positions and maybe more. As there goes Vettel on the out, on the inside. It turns to the outside of Lando Norris. And this part out of it, and we've sent it free and followed Lando Norris through the door. Now Vettel left, and now as we are catching, catching the back, we dive bomb down the inside of Lando Norris and re regain the positions we lost apart from Mick Schumacher. Here's what happened though we just outbreak ourselves through the gravel, did very, very well to hold it. 
nearly sliced off Lando's for me in the process. This is what it looked like from the Dreamhacker's point of view. He's now down into that corner. He falls in one nearly, very nearly contact, two lots of contact there, with both of them. And here is Lando's front wing. How close is that? That is millimetre pixels away from a puncher possibly. But now on to the final lap. Have we possibly bottled our first points of this career mode? We're too far back to do anything there on Mitch Schumacher. As it is going to be a first Grand Prix victory for Carlos Sainz. Controlled the race after Verstappen's retirement. He wins the first round. And Sergio Perez has soaked up the pressure from Lewis Hamilton to, to pick up the pieces and limit the damage for Red Bull. P2, P3 for Hamilton, P4 for George. And give this man a round of applause. What a drive by Charles Leclerc to finish fifth. And now they were still looking for that P10 back through towards our very final opportunity and we're too far back to do anything there and now through the final sector and we've come wide and nearly dropped it again well held but it's going to be Mick Schumacher to get the final point and we are going to have to settle for P11 we bottled it in the first race A great race then and a fantastic victory here at Albert Park. So, Natalie, what do you think helped them deliver this result? Well, tyre management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So, being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls, gentle on the tyres, that's where the race was won today. Here we are, a team that is no stranger to the podium, taking their place on top once again. A sublime race today and a stunning win for Ferrari. So that's been your very first round in of the career mode. What a race it was. Very, very interesting. Bit annoying that we bottled it at the end there. But anyway, great, great race battling away with Mick Schumacher. Zenoda until he had his issue as well. Here is the standings in the constructors. No point showing you the drivers. If you have enjoyed this first episode of Career Mode and you want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll just be uploading every Tuesday and Friday as much as I can. Hopefully, I'll see you in Miami for the next Grand Prix for the first Miami Grand Prix. Till then, though, goodbye.